I'm Dave Timmer. I've been a biologist with the Stillaguamish tribe here in Linden, Washington, in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, but I've been involved with Erosha for the last few years, volunteering, helping out, trying to organize projects and get things going around here. We've had a Kestrel box study, which is also ongoing. It's actually really exciting today to be planting this project here because it's kind of our second uh, major one for the Rocha group out here. Your kids are going to back 20 years from now. These trees are going to be really big. Where are your head? You're going to say, I planted that. <laughs> I did it, right? My name is Gene Mulder. And uh, I like to plant trees. I like to see trees grow. But whenever we get a piece of property, we look at improving the property, considering that stewardship is the primary purpose of owning land, to make sure that it's taken care of and well looked after. Yeah, this has been a, a great project to work with Gene Mulder on his property here, where he constructed this pond. We connected with him early on while he was constructing it to get him to plant some native trees and vegetation around the pond to shade out canary grass, which is a non-native species. I was introduced to the Osho group through Karen. Karen was instrumental. She put the plan together and got the school kids to do the planting and Nooksack people to help out, and Dave Timmer. I didn't realize, that, frankly, that it was a Christian group interested in environmental stuff. So I was pleased when she filled me in as to what Arosha was, the principle that it was founded on. And, and uh, no, I'm quite pleased to see that there's a group of that nature going on. And I'm just glad about the help that they've given. rehanging this kestrel box. We just moved it from another pole across the field and we thought it was too close to another one so we're going to move it up on this pole about 15 feet off the ground. The kestrel box project is designed to help encourage the kestrel population to increase in size in this area and we're strategically placing these boxes uh, near the blueberry fields. Hopefully the kestrels, when they move in and breed, will discourage the starling population, which really devastates the blueberry fields in this area. This response has been great. Um, people are um, really open to stewardship ideas once they, they realize you know, that our goals are coming from a good place and, and uh, we just want to connect with people and our surroundings and get more involved in what's going on you know, in our watersheds and in the stream and that sort of thing. I've had the opportunity to write some newsletter articles at my church and it's been so, so fun to see how people have responded. Uh, they're really interested, they just want to know more. And when they, when they see we're not crazy, they, uh, they want to get involved. <laughs>